All right, thanks for tuning in to another uh, science lesson with Mr. M. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use a unit conversion chart or a unit conversion ladder. These are helpful when doing metric unit conversions or SI unit conversions. And the principle that they work on is this base 10 system where um, all we really need to do is understand what prefix that we're working with and figuring out what unit we're trying to convert it to. And it's simply just a matter of moving the decimal place. So you might see a, a unit conversion ladder like you see here where typically on the left it's uh, towards the top and then you kind of go down the ladder. Um, or you might see another one that looks kind of a little bit more like this where it's just um, straight left to right. Uh, and, but in, in each case, they give you the prefix of the met, like the metric prefix. So for example, all the way to the left, you have your K for kilo. Kilo represents a thousand units. Um, and then all the way towards the right, the bottom right, moves all the way down to M, which is stands for milli, okay? And uh, right in the middle, you have what's called your basic unit. Um, and that's when you have no prefix. So if you only have one letter in your unit, that means you're working with that base unit. The only time you have a prefix is when you have two letters in your unit, and you're just going to take a look at the first letter, hence why it's called a prefix. It's what's out in front. All right? So let's, uh, let's kind of go through some examples here, and we'll show you how to use these uh, unit conversion charts uh, or ladders as, they, as they're seen. And so what we have here at the beginning is... We have 88 grams and we're trying to convert it to kilograms. That's really the biggest thing that I think you need to really take a look at when doing this is what do you start with and where are you trying to get to? So in this case, we're starting with grams and we're trying to go to kilograms. So on my chart, I know that because grams is only one letter, that's my base unit. So I'm gonna start my decimal here and I'm trying to get to kilograms. And so K is the prefix. So I'm going to find K up here on my chart, and that's where I'm going to finish. And so I have to go from my start to my finish, and I'm going to move that decimal to the left. One, two, three spots. So on my 88, I know that the decimal exists right here. And I need to move that decimal over three spots to the left. So one, two, three. And anytime you have an empty space, so as you can see, there's, we've moved the decimal and there's nothing there, we fill that in with a zero. So our final answer should be 0 0.088 kilograms. All right, let's take a look at the next Example, 100 millimeters to centimeters. So I'm starting with millimeters and I'm trying to get to centimeters. So millimeters is here, M. So this is my start. And centimeters is here. So there's my finish. So I just have to move it once to the left. So I'm gonna take that decimal, which exists right here, and I'm gonna move it over one place to the left. And then I'm gonna rewrite as 10.0 centimeters. All right, last example here. It's 25 centimeters. So I know I'm going from centimeters to plain old meters. So C is my prefix, so I'm starting here. And meters is my base unit, just one letter, so I'm going to finish here. So I need to go one, two spots to my left. So I'm going to take this decimal and I move it one, two spots to the left, and then I'm going to rewrite 0 0.25. And there are times where you're going to have to move it to the right. Um, unfortunately, all my examples here showed it going to the left, but you're going to use the same principle, all right, where you're going to just find the prefix that you're given or where you start and then find where you finish 
and then move the decimal however many spots to the right or to the left. So uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope this video is helpful for you in um, using those unit conversion charts or ladders to solve your unit conversion problems.